Welcome back. Happy Friday. OMG. Look at <laughs> this. Easter. So whether you go all out for Easter like Kirk does, dressing up as the Easter this Bunny. This is not my fault. This is totally your fault. No, my friend Laura and Dave, and she was organizing the Easter egg hunt, and she said, would you dress up like the Easter Bunny? Was it hot in there? In it, was, that it was hot in there. Was it hard to breathe? <laughs> you like the full transformation, though? <laughs> Okay, so if you don't want to go all out like Kirk and Oy dress day. up as the Easter Bunny, you can have a uh, more low-key celebration, but still kick it up a notch and enjoy uh, food with family and friends. So we are going to talk about an Easter staple here, of course, the deviled egg. Yes, because you've got all those extra eggs, right? right. That's right. You've got to do something with them. You don't want to just let them go bad. So joining us this morning to show us a unique way to spice up those deviled eggs is Chef Wolf from Mount Vernon Canyon Club up in Golden. Good to have you. Thank you. How you, how you doing? Good to be here. All right, so, so we're going to kick it up a notch. We're not just making the normal deviled eggs, right? Because those are usually pretty simple. Those won't do. These yeah. are I mean, fancy ones. Look at that. After core, deviled egg is very simple, has few ingredients, and they're very easy to make. Okay. But when it comes to an elegant egg or an elevated egg, you're only limited by your creativity. I mean, you could pickle and dye them. You could fry them. But <laughs> I've brought four examples, and then I'll quickly demo one. Okay. So we have what I like to call our elegant egg. It's this got one. a little bit of paddlefish caviar, oh, some caviar. chive. And we've got our lox egg with some lox. Is that some, this one? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's that one. That's shaved radish and pepper crust, so a little bit of spice to it. The one I'll be demoing, our southwest egg. That's it's got green egg. chilies in the mix, shaved fresno, so a little bit of heat. Nice. And wow. some micro cilantro. And then, and then we've one. got our Benedict egg with some asparagus, a prosciutto crisp. Prosciutto. That's right. You're never <laughs> going to look at a basic deviled egg the same again when you've kicked it up like this. Yeah, so most of us with Easter holiday approaching, we're going to have plenty of hard-boiled eggs around, particularly yeah. if you have kids. And so, what do you do with all those? So I'll quickly demo this one. Uh, of course, if you're making a lot and you had, uh, for family, and you have a KitchenAid mixer, you could do that. But just simply cream your eggs with, you a, spoon with a spoon or a spatula wow, if you're spoon, making yeah. a small amount. So we're just going to cream these. Once we've got these smooth, we'll add our mayonnaise. mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. In here for our southwestern egg, we've got a little bit of uh, cumin, white people pepper. People have like the go-to basic recipes. Do you think they're afraid to kind of amplify the deviled egg because they just feel like they got to do it the Deviate way everyone expects? The, yeah. Yeah, I mean it's such a classic thing. We've been enjoyed in the United States and Europe since the. Well, they've been in print and cookbooks since the 1700s. They've probably oh enjoyed for much longer that. than that. No kidding. Um, but you shouldn't be afraid. Yeah, I mean, kick the uh, black olive and the, the parsley to the right. side and get a little bit of creative. <laughs> so that's your, your green chilies? Is that what that's that the green is? chilies. Yeah. So uh, thanks to the wonders of TV magic, voila, <laughs> and here we are. Uh, so then we're just going to pipe it into our egg here. Take one of our, our shaved Fresnos, some of the cilantro. Did you come up with this on your own? Yes. Creative. Yeah, the southwestern egg is an original idea, Very all cool. of my own. That's pretty. And uh, there you have it. And so, what's the deal with the country club? Are, are you you got to have a membership to go there, and I know you guys have like kind of a, a discounted membership going on. Right. Yeah. So we are a private club, but for a limited time, we're offering our preview membership, which allows prospective members to come up to the club and enjoy everything that we have to offer without paying initiation fees. Cool. And uh, on April twelfth, in fact, we're going to have our summer activities and fitness forum. And it is open to the public. So you can come up and meet with our tennis director, our, our pool manager, cool. uh, our wellness and fitness director, and, and uh, see all that we have to offer. And see Chef Ryan, of course. And see me, of and course. Get some Get deviled eggs. That's awesome. Right. Thank you so much, Chef. Thank you. We're going to kick it over to Greg Dutra. Greg, are you a deviled egg fan? You know, I am. You got to try this one. Well, see, here's the Greg thing like, deviled eggs, head to head for shrimp cocktail. I'm going to go with shrimp cocktail. But if there's no.